Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm back with another video, and today I am going to talk about uh, a question that I just got uh, a few hours ago. Um, question is from uh, Kishore Mystery, and his comment, and I appreciate the question. And the question is, uh, how to open an account on Gemini, and how to transfer money to the account, as well as how you... How to buy the first, uh, your first stable coin. Video will be appreciated. Thanks, newbie. Okay. Um, so let's cover that. First thing you're going to do is you're going to go to Gemini.com. But before you do that, um, I, you, you, I could have been more specific on where you, where you from. Uh, for example, in the United States, there's all 50 states. That's not an issue. But if you live in another country... Uh, this is the URL for the areas of availability. It is said it's supported in 60 plus countries, so most likely uh, it's, it will be supported where you're at. So these are the countries that it is supported on USA, all 50 states, and this is the countries right here. Okay, South America, Europe, okay, Asia. So. Make sure you're in, you, you, you live in a country that supports Gemini. Now, of course, before you sign up for the account, you know, be, I would like for you to use my uh, referral link. It's going to be in the description below. Um, and also in the comment. I pin a comment. So you'll see the Gemini link. Click through that link. And what it is, is I get $10 in Bitcoin. And you get ten dollars in Bitcoin also for funding your account and buying a uh, hundred dollars worth of crypto, and you'll get ten dollars in Bitcoin also. Now we're gonna get started to create your account. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's pretty straightforward. Um, you just uh, fill out the information, then you gotta click on the uh, to agree with the user agreement. And then you're going to go through a verification process, which I'm not going to do here because I already have a Gemini account. Um, there's something called KYC, which is know your customer. And they're going to ask you for a, a picture of your ID or a scan image of your ID. Um, you can use your state ID. If you live in the United States, you can use your state ID or driver's license or passport. And that's basically it for that. And you can still go ahead and fund your account in the meanwhile while that verification process takes through. I heard some people complain about it. Um, I didn't have no issue with it. It was usually confirmed within uh, 24 hours. But again, I heard complaints about it. Again, I have no control over that, obviously. Um, so make sure you have your ID to either take a picture with, with using your phone or a scanner, okay? And that's pretty straightforward. Now how you want to fund your account is you're going to need a, you can use a debit card or a bank account. Um, there, of course, a debit card, you could only make crypto purchases. You're not going to be able to withdraw back into your debit card. Okay, so keep that in mind when you're buying crypto with your debit card. Uh, when you when in the future when you do want to sell your crypto and in other words you're gonna need a bank account. eventually you're gonna need a checking account some kind of checking account like I said debit card is only good to for, to buy crypto but when you want to do withdrawal and you want to sell your crypto you want to convert it back to uh, you know money uh, uh, fiat currency and s s uh, transfer it to your bank account you're gonna need a, some kind of checking account there's no way around that so. Just keep that in mind when you do the payment method. So what, you're going to go into account, right? You're going to click on settings. It's going to take you to this page. And you're going to scroll down until you see on the side, you see payment method. You're going to click on that. Once you select your payment method, you're going to get this page. Of course, I scroll down because I don't want to show my information. But you're going to click on this button, add payment method. And you're going to get this pop-up. Again, um, you have these options here. This is the one they recommend to link to your bank account. 
Okay. Um, I have all three actually, but this is the one I recommend. Okay. So I'm going to click on that and it's going to open up plaid. Okay. Now, meaning that when I click on the continue, um, whatever banks are supported in that, in plaid, are the ones that are, you can use. So if you use a, if you have if you have a bank that's not really known, this is not going to work. You know, like if you have a, you know, I'll give you an example. If you have like NetSpend, I have NetSpend card, doesn't work with this. So this is why I recommend. Um, now, when you also click on plaid, I'll show you. You select your bank, right? These are the banks that are here, including Robinhood. So if you have a Robinhood account, you can link it directly to. These are the banks that I have. If it says don't see your bank search instead, I tried that. It's not going to work. You're going to have to get one of these. You're going to have to have one of these banks. Okay. The one I recommend is Chime. Okay. So when you click on that, it's going to pop. It's going to pop up the login for your Chime bank account or whatever bank account you have. If you have uh, Bank of America, you're going to have to log in through here, Bank of America, to your Bank of America account, excuse me. Or chase so make sure that you're gonna have one of these banks because otherwise it's not gonna work it's not you know so that's why I recommend chime okay I have a chime account um, I'm gonna put the referral link on the chime account also in the description below if you want to use chime I've been using it for a few months since I started crypto I really like chime um, no fees nothing like that and keep it simple keep it simple I use Chime Chime works for me um, it works also with my Robinhood account it works with my Coinbase account I have no problem using this account so I, I would recommend Chime again your bank your bank if you have a big bank like Chase and all that that's fine too whatever's on this list is gonna work however I've been getting um, uh, I seen videos on some people's account being closed, uh, like for example, um, because of crypto activity. Uh, especially the bigger banks, they I don't know. I'm not saying that any of these are going to do that anytime soon, but there are some banks out there that. Will. But like I said before, if it's not in this list, probably it's not going to go through. Okay, so keep that in mind when you select your bank. Um, like I say, in my case, I use Chime. Works for me. Um, a stable coin is any, it says right here, any any coin that's one-to-one -one US dollar backed is a stable coin, okay? Uh, for example, right here, it says right here, G, this is Gemini dollar, okay? They have their own stable coin, it's called the GUSD, and it's a one-to-one -one USD backed stable coin, always convertible to exactly one dollar at Gemini. So you have a GUSD. And it doesn't fluctuate in price. It always stays at a dollar or close to a dollar, sometimes 99 cents, a dollar, one on one dollar. It always stays at a, at a dollar, at a US dollar. Okay, that's what a stable coin is. Any crypto that's pegged to a currency like a British pound or whatever, in this case, is the US dollar. That is the stable coin for Gemini. Okay, so you don't have to worry about. Uh, price fluctuation or anything. It's always going to stay at $1. Okay? And it's in the Gemini's case, it's uh, insured. Up to $250,000 FDIC. Um, it is uh, audited. And there are no fees for holding the Gemini dollar. Now, if you want to look at other stable coins, uh, first we go to the Gemini Earn. This is the stable coins that you have. The Gemini Dollar, the Terra USD, and the USDC coin. Okay, USD coin. Or USDC. And of course, the reason why I own Gemini Dollar is because of the yield. The annual yield is 8%. Now that changes every so often. Every, every few months, they do change the rates around. But right now, the Gemini Dollar is 8%. 
Terra is 7.9, which is basically rounded off 8%. Same thing with USDC. Okay? Now, I made a video on that. If you want to, once you buy your Gemini dollar, if you buy your Gemini dollar, not financial advice, if you buy your Gemini dollar, how to put, how to make it earn interest. And there's a video. I'm going to put the video in the upper corner right there. And, but let's look at other stable coins. And for that, you go to CoinGecko. Okay, you're going to go to Categories. And it's CoinGecko.com. And stable coins, you have all these categories right here, stable coins. <clears throat> and of course, Tether is the number one stable coin. It has the biggest market cap. Um, we cannot get Tether in New York. We cannot buy Tether in New York. It is banned. Um, so Tether is not available for New York residents in any of the exchanges. Whether you have Coinbase or Gemini, there is no Tether. Okay, so keep that in mind. If you wanted to buy Tether, you will have to do it outside exchange. You will have to need a wallet, like a MetaMask wallet or something to swap for Tether or something like that. So you're not going to be able to buy Tether in New York with that. And I believe some other countries are also um, banned tether. Um, I don't want to say they're shady because it's not that. It's just that um, for some reason, uh, it's beyond the scope of this video anyway. But basically, the ones are going to be um, on Gemini is going to be USDC, which is number two, Terra. Okay. And this one is also listed as a stable coin. Um, and this and the Gemini one is right here, number sixteen. So they're two hundred and fifty eight million in market cap. Okay. But since this is a uh, um you open up a Gemini account, uh the GSUSD is the highest annual yield. Now that you're ready to buy your first token, and in your case in this in this in the case of this video, we want to buy our stable coin. And stable coins is right here. All, all this is the what's available on Gemini. Of course, you got a Gemini dollar. You also have the USDC right here. And below here somewhere is the Terra USD. Okay. Those are stable coins that are there. And also the uh, Magic Internet Money, but we're not gonna touch that. Um. So Gemini dollar. Okay. Say you're interested in the Gemini dollar, you're gonna click on it, and it's gonna pop up the page for it. As you can see, there is no fluctuation. The Gemini dollar is always at a dollar. That's sorry, the stable coin is always at a dollar. Okay. And what, and right here, you can make the the trade right here. So we're gonna buy. You can buy recurring buying like daily, weekly, whatever. We're only gonna buy once, in this in this case. Uh, you can click on the 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 amounts of right here, set amount, or you could put a specific amount. So I'm just gonna put a I say a hundred dollars. Type it in there. Now you have the option to earn on that buy also. So, so in other words, as soon as you buy the hundred dollars worth of Gemini dollar, you can put it to earn interest. You just check the switch, and you'll start earning that also. For the uh, sake of this video, I'm not going to do that. If later on you change your mind, you want to earn interest on it, I got the video up here. It's going to be on the upper right. You can click on that. It'll take you to that video. To earn interest on your crypto on Gemini, on any coin. Okay? And you click on continue. I'm not going to click on continue because uh, my payment method is going to pop up. And I'm not going to buy anything anyway. But, you know, once you click on continue, you're going to get a pop-up window. It's going to show you what you put for your payment method. Whether it be your checking account, your debit card. Or both. That's what's going to pop up. You have to select which one you want to pay with. Okay. You know, like I said, in my case, I, I, could, I, could, I could select debit. Use that account. You know. Then you're going to have to confirm it. And then that's it. You bought the. Uh, your, your first uh, crypto in Gemini. Okay. So that's how you go about that. Okay. Um, And that's it. I hope that answers your questions. And if you have any more questions out there, 
uh, put them in the comments below. Or email me. My email is also on the... Um, I, I'm going to put it in the description, but it's also on the about page of the channel. So you can, uh, you can also follow me on Twitter and so on. You can post a question there too. Or on uh, whatever social media I have there. But basically, uh, you can just put the comment. That would be the best way to do it. And I'll try to make a video on it and upload as soon as I can. So thank you for the question. Uh, thank you for watching my video. In relation to this question. Um, and also, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, you can share the video. Like I said, I just started in crypto a few months ago. And I'm making these videos just to, just to uh, help people. And also, subscribe to my channel. And I will appreciate that. Okay? And you still need the referral links below. When you want to, like for example, when you're going to create a Gemini account, use the referral link below. If you want to make a Coinbase account, use the, it helps me out a lot. It helps me out with, uh, you know, keeping this channel going. And any other referral links below. Uh, with that, uh, I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.